welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and this is Curly Girl Budgeting and it has been a minute. I believe the last time I recorded a video was, gosh, at least a year ago. Um, for those who are new or if you've forgotten, if you're a returner, I was in school and my final year or so, I was just living off of money I had saved and scholarships. So I wasn't stuffing any of my sinking funds. I was only stuffing my wallet, which has a whopping three categories. So it just got really repetitive. The videos would have been, gosh, three minutes probably. So I just didn't worry about it for the last year, but I have since graduated. So I figured I would give you a little bit of a life update and then show you my new setup in all of these. So we're gonna start with my wallet while I kind of catch you up to speed. So for my wallet, I don't know if this is what I was using before. I really don't remember. Um, I do have a receipt, uh, just like everybody else on budgeting land. I do use fetch, but I also use receipt jar, <clears throat> excuse me, and receipt hog. I personally like receipt jar the best. Um, I feel like I get a gift card every other week. So gonna scan that because we love some free gift cards. And then my wallet, which is a pretty self-explanatory. Um, but then I have these three categories, which is what I believe I was using before. So it was food, gas, and fun. So I'm gonna keep these categories, but I am officially out of money. Um, so $2 for that, I'll show you what we do later. I had saved enough, so I don't know if I've shared it. I went to law school, which is three years long and you're not really supposed to work the first year. So my first year I had enough in savings that I just lived off savings. Then, my second year, we sold our house and moved. So my wife and I split the profit because we do keep our money separate. Um, my half of the profit, I lived off of. Then my third year, um, my abuelo passed away and my dad gifted me his car. So I sold my car that was paid off and used that to live off of. So every year I managed to find a way to just keep going, which was amazing. I did graduate debt free, which was my goal. I didn't take out any student loans and I didn't use my credit card at all. So that was really exciting. I graduated the first week of May and I had enough money saved to last through the end of June. And I've been looking for jobs since about March. So I thought for sure by the end of the June, I would have a job and lo and behold, I do not. So not super excited about that obviously, but kind of trusting the process and I imagine the right thing will come along when it's time. So I'm giving myself one more month. I don't know if you can hear my cat, it's zero. Um, I'm giving myself one more month to find a job and since I'm out of money I'm just gonna put it all on my credit card which I was not super comfortable with at first I had given myself a pretty strict June end date but after I graduated my dog Otto needed to go to the vet a couple times and the car needed a little bit of work so I had to put that on the credit card because I didn't have money for that so since there's a little bit of balance on there I don't feel terrible about adding a little more to give myself one more month to find the right job so that's what we're gonna do. So instead of putting cash in here, I'm going to, this is my bank bag. I took some of the trackers that came as freebies in one of these binders and cut them down. And I made them for all four weeks. So, they're in wrong order. Oopsies. So I put a one in the corner, meaning the first week, and then I put the same amounts I always do. So 125 for food, 20 for gas and 25 for fun. And then I'm just gonna put these in here where the cash normally goes and I'll just keep track that way, which again, not ideal, but it is what it is. The job market is not fun right now. So just trying to keep myself calm and sane and still looking for the right fit. So that is done for this for right now. And then I do have a new binder setup as well. So I got this binder from the Aesthetic Dollar. Um, I believe they're newish. She had printables, but I'm not a printable girly. So there's gold coils or silver coils and it matches the embossing. So I got the gold. This is my cheat sheet, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so I'm just gonna run through the month section for you so you can see kind of how it works. So month two, weekly wallet tracker is where I'll keep track of the categories in my wallet, how much I budgeted, how much I spent, and how much is left. I used to track every dollar spent with the budget mom and it just got to be overwhelming and it made me a little obsessive. So I'm hoping this will be the happy medium where I'm not completely ignoring my spending, but I'm also keeping track of trends. 
And then the income section is broken down by month, which most jobs I'm applying for do not pay monthly. So my plan is to either use two different color pens, which my brain probably won't like, or put like a highlighter line in the middle to separate the sections and still do budget by paycheck like I used to. So I would do like income one, the bills that fall in that period, income two, the bills that fall in that period and break it up that way. So obviously can't use it yet, which is a bummer, but I'm ready, I have a plan. Then fixed expenses, variable expenses, sinking funds, savings challenges, and debt payoff. It does also include cash planning and an online spending tracker, but this is pretty self-explanatory. And this I am not gonna use because when I online spend, I immediately pull that money. Because if not, I forget about it and then I overspend. So that's not super useful for me, but it might be for y'all if you're looking for something. So that's what each month looks like. There is a full year in here, which I was amazed with because it's not very thick. So excited about that. For my cheat sheet, I did have to go through the categories and kind of brainstorm how I wanted to use them because I was a little confused when I started. So monthly income will be my income. Monthly bills will be my bills. Fixed expenses to me is the same as monthly bills. So I'm not sure the purpose of having both, but I am not gonna use the fixed expenses. That's why I have a little X. Variable expenses will be my envelope money in my wallet. Sinking funds will be sinking funds. Savings challenges, debt payoff, etc. For debt payoff, I do have my credit card that I mentioned the balance on. Um, the Lowe's and Care Credit are my wife's cards, but the Care Credit I have put money on for auto at the vet. So because we keep everything separate, I am going to pay back my portion of that. So I'll have both of those to kind of juggle once I get working and have money. So there's that. And then I do have a new binder situation, so I'm not sure what is new, what is different. I could not tell you, it has been too long. My memory is not that great. So we'll start with my short-term sinking funds. Um, and I'm gonna link everything below because I couldn't tell you right now where I got stuff from unless it says it on it. So this is my new short-term sinking funds binder. I did make my dashboard myself on Canva. There's something here that keeps pulling the color, so ignore that little oopsies, but otherwise, nice little ocean view. And then I did get new envelopes and new placeholders, that much I know. So the placeholders are from Rich Broke Mom on Etsy, and I just love her setup, the way it says like short-term sinking funds, the title. To me, it's just so clean, and it's really easy to understand because I do do my budget and my wife's budget, so sometimes I need a little help keeping things straight. So acts of kindness, as you can guess, are acts of kindness. Books, because I am a former librarian and will always want more books. Clothes, I haven't updated my closet in a really long time, which isn't the end of the world. I live in Florida, so it's pretty much one season all year. But when I get a job, I may have to purchase clothing. Um, I am applying for librarian jobs as a fail safe, but I'm also applying for legal and policy jobs, which is what I went to school for. So depending on which one I get will determine if I need to get new clothes because those are very different office setups. Date night for me and the wife. Game night has been put on hold, but we normally host game night at our house once a month for all our friends and we pay for all the food. So that'll get started back up at some point. Haircuts, if you weren't aware by my name on here, I do have crazy long curly hair. And for anyone with curly hair, you know the struggle of finding someone who cuts your hair well. Um, it's always a challenge and then it's not very budget friendly. Um, so just wanted to kind of set up a separate envelope for that. I do get my hair colored sometimes because it's a very, very dark brown, almost black. Um, and it just gets too dark for me sometimes. So this will be for that because this is gonna need to be stuffed quite a bit throughout the year. Um, I keep putting off haircuts because I don't have this money. So we're gonna correct that and start focusing on it. Hustle Sanely is the planner I use. It's from Jess Massey. And she also has a subscription community you can join, which I absolutely love and swear by. So that obviously costs money as well. So this will be saving for the planner, the community, and then she also has journals that I use every day. So this will be another hefty one. Nails, which desperately need to be done. Tattoos, because you can never have too many in my opinion. Toiletries is something I used to just pull out of my food envelope. So if my wife and I went to the grocery store and grabbed toilet paper, say, I would just cover it with food and I wasn't too worried about it. 
but since I was planning to redo this whole setup, I thought I would start putting it separate. So that way I really am using food for food. So this will just be for any kind of toiletries. Um, this for me is gonna include toilet paper, paper towels, that sort of thing, but also like deodorant, all my crazy curly hair products, like all that will fall into one envelope. Vacation, which desperately need as well. And then wholesale, um, we do have access to a wholesale club. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting money in here because when we go, as you guys probably know, we always end up spending a ton. Um, I don't know what it is about walking into like a Sam's or a Costco, but I just spend money on stuff I don't need or that I shouldn't have money for. So they do have good house stuff sometimes. So we're gonna start planning ahead of time and leaving it in here. So if we do go and there's stuff besides toiletries and besides food, we have money set aside for that because previously, it was just eating up our food money, which I don't love. Next, I have to move this, is my big binder. So I've kind of mimicked setups from a couple, couple different budgeters, um, just using their like setup to kind of inspire me. So this setup very much matches the aesthetic dollar. This setup I mimicked from the intentional living. Um, so this I'll explain in a minute. But what she does, which I love, is for bigger categories, she uses the A5 envelopes, right? Yeah, A5. And then she has multiple envelopes inside of it. So I wanna use one that has pretty envelopes. Let's go to a pretty one. This is one, okay. I did get some envelopes changed out, so I wanna make sure I show you the new ones. So I just made these again on Canva, like a little placeholder, so holidays. And then there's individual envelopes for each one. So I have Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversary and Thanksgiving. And then I just put a little bit in each one and when it's time to spend, it's all in one place. So for whatever reason, this works really well for my brain. So I'm gonna work on changing out all the envelopes, but if you need some ideas on how to stuff those larger categories, so I hate having so many of these binders. I'd rather have all of the like kind together. So birthdays you'll see has my old envelopes that I just made myself. Um, can get it out so I made mine double-sided so Maeve is my goddaughter and Sunshine is a best friend that's her mom and they're just double-sided which is great for saving space but they're just not holding up really well you can see the money is already starting to slide out so I went ahead and started swapping them out with rich broke mom envelopes but that is how these work so for birthdays I probably have a dozen car I have a couple different categories. So I have emergency, which is like a true emergency fund just for my car. Deductible, um, our deductible on our insurance is 500, so I'll save that amount. Registration in Florida is super cheap. I think it's like $30, so I'll save that. Insurance, we prepay our insurance six months at a time because it saves us a good chunk of change, so I'll pre-stuff that. Detailing, we get our cars detailed once a year. I, full disclosure, I'm not the best about keeping it washed throughout the year. So I try to make an effort to at least once a year get like thoroughly detailed and then oil changes. So that's the categories for car. Christmas is like birthdays and that it's name specific. Holidays you already saw. House, our house, our new house at least, is pretty done. Like we bought a new home. So the last house we had to save a bunch of money for our renovations or projects, this one not so much. So I kind of restructured how I view this envelope. So much like our cars, my wife and I agree, we wanna do one deep clean a year. So pay someone to come in and clean the things that we just never get to, like the baseboards. So that'll be for the deep clean once a year. Our new community does have an HOA. It's pretty reasonable, not complaining by any means. Um, so we'll, we split that, so my wife and I do. So we will each stuff part of that. Organizing, I love organizing bins. The home edit, Instagram is my happy place. So this will just be as I work through the rooms. We've been here about a year, but I've been going through and figuring out what works, what doesn't. So as I go through the rooms and start restructuring stuff, I'll be able to buy organizing bins. And then projects is projects. I don't know how to explain that. So we still have to work on the backyard. Inside's pretty much done, but that'll be something for us to save for as well. Medical. We have my old envelopes with some sticky notes. 
So this one I took the label off of, I need to re-put it. Um, it's supposed to be copays. We do have an FSA, so until that runs out, I don't tend to use this money, but I would like to get a jump on that so I'm not scrambling when it runs out. Emergency, just like car, will just be an emergency fund in case I need to get some kind of procedure done that I don't have the money for. Um, I do have a medical marijuana card for a chronic illness, so you have to pay to renew that once every seven months with the doctor and once every year with the state, or maybe it's backwards, but it's those odd numbers. So I save money in here for that, and then obviously I cannot use insurance or my FSA to purchase the gummies I use. So that will be budgeted for as well. And like I said, the goal is to swap all these out with rich broke mom envelopes, but your girl's on a budget, so we started out small. Otto is my pup. He's lovely sleeping on the couch. Oh, to be the Otto dog. Can get this out so he has meds he takes every month he has his heartworm and his flea and tick so got a budget for that that is empty surprise surprise um normally i only budget this for like his annual when he gets shots but lately he's been having some issues we got them figured out but i might start stuffing a little more in here because i was only stuffing for that annual visit which was very quickly spent Vacation is what I call it when we board them. So if we go on certain trips, we can't bring the dogs. We do have two. We board them. Um, so for instance, we just went and saw family in North Carolina. They can come on that trip. We drove. They loved it. But if we fly somewhere or go into someone's house, um, we'll just board them. They love it. So we call it vacation. So got to save for that. And then his birthday, because I always save a little bit. There's a local store here where I'm at um, that makes like handmade treats and birthday cakes and all that. So we try to shop local and frequent them when it comes time for the puppers' birthdays. And then Tiny Humans has no envelope, but my wife and I are planning to start trying to have kids probably in the next year or two. So I kind of have a plan of what I want to save for that. So that'll be that. And then as promised, I'll go over this. So another dashboard I just made myself on Canva which you can tell I made, it's not perfectly sized, the holes are too big, but you know, it works, we're rolling with it. And then I made one of these for me and one for my wife to help me keep track of how much these annual amounts are. So I just put each one and that way, when I go to stuff or I need to break up, hey, how much do I wanna put each week? I have it all here. So you've got anniversary, birthdays, car detailing, car insurance, Christmas, the deep clean, Father's Day, haircuts, HOA dues, hustle sanely, my medical card renewal, Mother's Day, oil changes, auto's meds, auto vet, and Thanksgiving. So that's that. And then all these cutesy um, things are from Rich Broke Mom when she mailed me my envelopes or my inserts. So that's that binder. And that's really all my binders. But what I did do is I had one extra A5 binder and I really wanted to start doing the one, five, 10, and $20 savings challenge. During school, I wasn't because that money was essentially getting rolled over. So if I had $20 left in food, I would either roll it over or put it back in my checking account because the goal was to stretch that money as long as possible. Once I have a job, that mindset gets to shift from scarcity to abundance, which is gonna be great. So instead of rolling it over, I'm gonna start saving it and that way I have money for extra stuff. So this is one I used to use for planning. And again, dashboard you can tell is a little small because so, I just winged it. Um, more little cutesy things. And then I got these trackers from Comfort Coins. So I have one, five, 10, and 20. So today I'm gonna put these two ones in here. And Melina, what's her channel called? I'll have to look, but Melina, recommended using the wet erase which is genius because it'll come right off without any issues and it's not permanent so i am going to color in the two one dollars we have so i can start tracking these and my plan is once i fill it up i'll just start over so like this is 48 and a lot of people don't do the ones because you fill it up so fast but i just like the satisfaction of coloring it in so we'll let that dry but there's the one dollar which is 48 dollars total $5 totals $240, $10 totals $480, and $20 totals $960. So this is obviously a fluke, these two, because I haven't started really budgeting yet. But once I have a paycheck and there's money left over, 
every week because there almost always is, um, I can start putting that in here and just start a little collection of extra savings. So that is where we're at for right now. I, like I said, don't have a job yet, so I won't be stuffing my own money quite yet. My plan is to do a video every week that's kind of Becca focused and then the opposite weeks will be when I do my wife's cash envelope stuffings because she does use sinking funds like I do. So that's a little bit of an update. Hope you all are doing well. Let me know what you think of the whole new setup and everything we've got going on. And I will see you next week for Michelle's cast stuffing. Thanks so much. Bye.